Hi, I'm Michelle Vanderzyden, Director of Discipleship Ministries at Trinity Lutheran Church, and I will be leading you in the prayers for today. And today is Tuesday, May 12th, and we will be using the responsive prayer number two out of our Green Book of Worship. And it's found on page 164 if you're able to follow along there or just pray with us as you can. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now let's pray the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all the nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Today, I'm going to read from the Psalms, and I'm going to read Psalm 146. And in this Psalm, we can rejoice in hope, knowing that our help is from God, and it is lasting and complete. Psalm 146, hallelujah, Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Put not your trust in rulers, nor in any child of the earth, for there is no help in them. When they breathe their last, they return to earth, and in that day their thoughts perish. Happy are they who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God who made heaven and earth and the seas and all that is in them, who keeps his promise forever, who gives justice to those who are oppressed and food to those who hunger. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord cares for the stranger. He sustains the orphan and widow, but frustrates the way of the wicked. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Hallelujah. Now may the Lord be with you, and may we pray these prayers. Let us pray. Lord, we pray for an end to the spread of the virus. This coronavirus didn't take you by surprise. 
God, you are still governing and sustaining the world. And we pray for your healing mercy, that you would graciously bring this pandemic to an end. Lord, please bring healing and comfort to all those who are affected by the virus. In your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we pray for our government leaders. At all times, you call us to pray for those who are in positions of authority. Especially during this time of global emergency, we pray for our president, our vice president, governors, mayors, and all those who are making decisions related to public health and safety. We pray now for a spirit of unity among those in authority to work together to protect all people, especially the vulnerable and the marginalized. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, pastors and ministry staff all over the world are making difficult decisions related to public worship and safety of their members. We pray that these individuals and church bodies will have wisdom to faithfully shepherd their congregations, even if they're unable to physically gather. We pray that all Christians will love their neighbors well during this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, for the vulnerable, for those immunocompromised, for the elderly, for the diseased, and for those facing financial hardship, we pray also for students finishing schooling in challenging ways for comfort and perseverance. Over the coming weeks and months, there will be opportunities to meet many of these tangible needs. May we, as your people, meet those opportunities with wisdom and grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our healthcare workers and first responders. In the midst of the crisis, they are all working long hours to provide much needed medical care. We pray for wisdom, stamina, and energy, as well as for their families who are additionally making sacrifices through this COVID storm. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those in news media that journalists and reporters will accurately report updates with honesty and not stroke fear where it is unwarranted. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, may we have a spirit of generosity while churches face a loss of income when there are so many needs to be met. We ask that God's people will manifest a spirit of generosity and sacrifici sacrificially give of their time and resources to the needs that will arise. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, your word teaches us that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and self-control. We pray for enduring faith during this season of heightened fear, of anxiety and confusion. And while we take appropriate precautions, let us also continue to rely on you, God, and trust your purposes and your plans for us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, Lord, even as we face this crisis with many different feelings, may we be ready as your people to meet the world with the comfort and hope that only the good news of Jesus Christ can offer. Amen. And Lord, as we end our time, we raise this closing prayer to you. Almighty and everlasting and faithful God, who alone gave us the breath of life and alone can keep us alive in the breathing of holy desires, who are from everlasting to everlasting, the unchanging and ever-loving God, we ask you for your compassion's sake to sanctify all our thoughts and endeavors, that we may neither begin any action without a pure intention nor continue it without your blessing 
and grant that having the eyes of our understanding purged to behold things invisible and unseen, we may in heart be inspired with your wisdom and in work be upheld by your strength and in the end be acceptable of you. Amen. Let us bless the Lord, and let us give our thanks to God. The Lord bless us and defend us from evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs>